They have six kids and they live in Chandler. They've grown up in Arizona and they own a business here. And even though they are going through a horrific ordeal right now, it could have been much worse. The baby is doing fine. We watched his wife's initial appearance at the 4th Avenue jail where she spent the night. He says he was working from home at the time. She had debated taking their baby to pick up three of their kids from school. She ended up taking him and ran into Target after the pickups, but left the baby in the car. Her husband believes it was an accident. Around 4.30, when it was about 112 degrees out, a woman saw the infant crying and sweating and called 911. A man used a tire iron to smash the window. I broke the passenger window and then uh, unlocked it, climbed in and unlocked the other side uh, where the woman was standing. Um, and I unbuckled the child and then she pulled him out. The alleged victim in this case suffered no injury whatsoever. There was no raised uh, temperature. There was no harm, no side effects. Platt's attorney told a judge she has dedicated her life to her kids. She obsesses over their safety, their cleanliness, their well-maintained. She's just a wonderful, loving mother to all of her children. Platt's husband tells me he spoke to the man with the tire iron on the phone to thank him. Meanwhile, his wife will get to go home today, but she is facing a class five felony. So that means if convicted, she could face anywhere from six months to two and a half years in prison. In the newsroom, Lindsay Reiser for Arizona's family. Lindsay, thank you. And today we're also hearing from the woman who found that baby in the hot car and called for help. As Ryan Sims found, she has a message of compassion for the baby's mother. If that were my child in the car, and for whatever reason the same thing happened, I would want someone to bust every single window in my car to get my baby out. This woman insists she was in the right place at the right time. We just knew we had to get that baby out of there. She says she arrived here at Target with her two kids in the middle of the afternoon heat. As soon as she got out of the car, she tells us she noticed the one next to her and the baby that was still inside. Should I run into Target and tell an employee or should I just call 911? Precious seconds ticked by and the mom never showed. And then came a terrifying sign. That sweet little baby, he stopped crying. And I told the 911 operator that and she said, smash that window. By chance, a man nearby had a tire iron with the heart pounding smash of a window. A life was saved. More overwhelming to me was the fact like, what if I didn't go to Target? By all accounts, the baby will luckily be okay. But before anyone blames the mom here, this good Samaritan says to stop. And we say, you know, I would never do that to my child. And I say that, I would never do that to my child. But you have no idea, you know, what can happen in a day. And we have no idea what, was, what happened to her that yesterday. In Gilbert Tonight, Ryan Sims, Arizona's Family. Thanks, Ryan, and we all know it doesn't take long for your car to heat up in the sun. So this example, this is based on a 90 degree day. So if it was 90 degrees outside, in just 10 minutes, your car would heat up 20 degrees inside. In 20 minutes, your car would heat up 30 degrees. On a 90 degree day, leaving your car outside for half an hour, it would go up 35 degrees. And if your car is sitting outside for about an hour, again, on a 90 degree day, much hotter this week, on a 90 degree day, it would go up almost 45 degrees in one hour to about 135 degrees inside.